It is often said, a gentleman knows no weather. But let me assure you, this gentleman here knows everything about the weather. Hello and welcome. We are going to learn about the Stevenson screen today. Let's start by looking at a little known fact. The Stevenson screen was invented by a gentleman named Sir Thomas Stevenson, who was a British meteorologist and engineer in the 18th century. The Stevenson screen is a white wooden box with louvered sides and uh, it stands at a height of 1.25 meters above ground. It is used as an enclosure to house meteorological instruments such as thermometers, thermographs, hygrographs, or it could be thermohygrographs. The louvered sides ensure free circulation of air around the instruments inside the Stevenson screen. Stevenson screens are always painted white to better reflect the sun's rays in order to reflect excessive heat. It stands at a height of 1.25 meters above ground to avoid strong uh, temperature gradients at ground level. In the southern hemisphere, the doors of the screen always face the south to prevent direct sunlight uh, heating on the thermometers. The screen shields weather instruments from rain and direct sunshine, which may interfere with weather readings. It forms part of a standard weather station, including other instruments such as the wind van, the cup anemometers, the barometers, and we'll get to talk about those in a later stage. The Stevenson screen may also be known as a thermometer screen. It is also known as a thermometer shelter or an instrument shelter. Now let's look to find out what's inside the Stevenson screen. Inside the Stevenson screen we find the dry bulb thermometer, the wet bulb thermometer, the maximum thermometer, the minimum thermometer and a thermohygrograph. A thermometer is the instrument that measures temperature. And what is temperature? Temperature is a measure of hotness or coldness in a substance or an object. The dry bulb thermometer measures air temperature and the difference between the dry bulb and the wet bulb is the wet bulb uh, has a muslin and wick attached to its bulb and uh, the wick is immersed in water from a constant level water bottle. In order to have a closer look at the maximum and the minimum thermometers, we are going to move uh, this dry bulb and wet bulb thermometers. There we are. The maximum thermometer at the top there measures the highest temperature during a period of time, usually of 24 hours while at the bottom, the minimum thermometer measures the, the lowest temperature during a period of time. And those thermometers are reset at 8 o'clock every day. Next, we look at the thermohygrograph. Thermohygrograph is an autographic instrument that produces traces representing a record of both varying of temperature and humidity during a period of time. It can be 24 hours, it can also be 48 hours, depending on the clock mechanism. The Stevenson screen is not intended to be opened for a very long time, so the observer should read the thermometers as quickly as possible so as to get accurate readings. The weather often changes very quickly. And like I said at the beginning, this gentleman here knows everything about the weather. And this jacket serves the purpose.